What's good? What's good? What's good, peoples? You're now tuned into the Jack Talk podcast. I go by the name Rick. I'm your host. Uh, we're gonna talk about Kevin Gates getting a restraining order against his parole officer. You know, I think some of these parole officers be going overboard. You know, they too on top of the. You know, I feel like some of these parole officers be starstruck on the low. They get these famous artists, and they just fucking lose their mind. Like, why am I an artist? Why do I got to get a fucking restraining order on my parole officer? Because you're being too harsh with how you treat me and shit like that, you know? So, according to Gates, he, they're not letting him travel, so they blocking shows, you know? And I did see a couple of flyers of saying that he was supposed to perform here. I know um, Boosie had the clip up when he was supposed to come and perform with him. You know, he was on the phone with Gates. You know, him and Gates had their prior uh, situation, so I guess they worked it out as men. Salute to that. But, yeah, I remember when Boosie was on the phone saying, yo, man, you know, let's wish the boy could come perform. This will be big. I guess they blocked that. I seen a couple uh, flyers with him on it, and I guess they blocked that. So it's like, what the fuck is going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, why why are they denying this man? They, they won't let him travel. You know, so he's not traveling, so he's not getting no show money. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying he's broke or nothing, but at the end of the day, he's an artist. He gets a lot of money on the road. He's not a regular nine-to-five worker. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you're saying, yo, you can't go clock in the Home Depot tomorrow. You know what I mean? Fuck. Like, let him go travel. You get what I'm saying? Now, mind you, he's not on house arrest. He don't got to wear an ankle monitor. And he completed his anger management uh, courses. In Cook County, Illinois, where he do not even reside. But if I'm if I'm uh, reading this right, they, that's where he is. I don't think they letting him leave Chicago. So mind you, I think he lives in L.A. now. You know what I'm saying? So his family's in L.A. He can't leave Chicago, but he's not on he's not on um, house arrest and don't need an ankle monitor. So I guess his probation is not allowing him to leave Chicago. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand these courts and and how they work with the people. Like, same thing with me. You know, it's like, yo, he's been on probation for 10 fucking years. Like, that shit sounds ridiculous. Who be on probation for 10 years? I know motherfuckers that don't got 10 years worth of uh, fucking probation, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit just don't make no sense. Let that man go, get his money so he can provide for his family. You know what I'm saying? These guys aren't flight risk, yo. Who, where the fuck is Kevin Gates or Meek Mill or anybody of a high caliber going to go? Why the fuck would they say, hmm, you know what? Yay, let me go do this show. But instead of going to do this show and getting $35,000, I'm just going to go and hide it. Now I can't never come out because I'm on the run. I can't perform nowhere. And I'm just going to eventually fucking go bankrupt. My family going to lose everything all because of what? You know what I'm saying? The shit is over excessive, man. And these people need to be ashamed of themselves. You know what I'm saying? The judge need to, uh, Gates parole officer need to be ashamed of himself. Meek, the judge in the Meek Mill case need to be ashamed of herself. I don't even understand how she's still on the fucking bench with all the bullshit she been doing. She been having fucking requests, requesting this nigga to do down on bending knee by boys, the boys to men. What the fuck going on, man? I remember I was supposed to do that shit in a second grade talent show. You, you dig what I'm saying? But we dropped out because my mom ain't want to get me an all white outfit. <laughs> so that was that. But this shit is crazy, man. Let that man go, man. You know what I'm saying? Or at least transfer his fucking probation. You know what I mean? Like, if that's a thing, like, it has to be some type of leniency with these guys, man. Transfer his probation to at least the state that he's in. Put some new terms and conditions for him to follow and let him get his money. He did his time. He did his classes. He's not on house arrest. He's not on nothing. But y'all keeping him in Chicago, it don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Transfer him to where he live at, the state he live at, so he can provide for his family. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. You want the man back in the streets hustling and robbing or doing whatever he got to do to to provide for his family just because y'all taking that shit from him? Like, that's what I don't understand, man. The system, if you're supposed to help, then help. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't force me to put me in a position to where it's like, damn, now I got to go out here and stick somebody up or do some crazy shit because you're taking away all the possibilities of me earning money. For what? You know what I'm saying? The shit be ridiculous. The nigga did his time. He did everything he's supposed to do. Ain't get in no trouble. Did all that. He's still fucking having a setback. 
It doesn't make any sense. And the shit is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? For some reason, man, they want to keep these laws and shit. Like, even though no matter how fucked up everything is, they still, they're not changing shit. They change some of this shit up, my nigga. It's not back then. Like, the world is different now. You know what I'm saying? You got to change it up a little bit. You want people to stay on the straight and narrow, then stop backing them into a corner. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, this man got a family. Meat got a family. You know what I'm saying? And these guys are the breadwinners. So think about it. By you taking a nigga like Gates or a nigga like Meek off the streets, thinking about how much people's money you slowing up. You know, these people provide for a lot of fucking people. A lot of people depend on the money that they bring in. So you taking them off the street for your own selfish reasoning, you're fucking not only their life up and their income, but you're f- it's trickling down. A lot. These people provide for a lot of fucking people, man. And it just doesn't make any sense. This is the Jack Talk Podcast, man. Tune in. Get with me. You know, if you want me to, uh, you want to hear my point of view on something, you can hit me at the Jack Talk Podcast at gmail.com. And, you know, we about to be lit, man, because I'm just, I'm going, I'm going to go in. You know, you dig? Jack Talk Podcast, man. Get with me.